Hey what's up guys, x awesome is here again coming at you today with another video. Today I'm showing off my masked hero deck and uh, here I was facing infernities. So obviously I will go for masked hero dark law because I know how infernities work and they really rely on the graveyard so obviously dark law is the best card ever and he did not know that mass chains effect will work even though it's, fl it's flipped face down. And he obviously gave up here because there's nothing technically he can do when Darkla is on the field. And he only had Necromancer. And here I was facing a 6 Samurai deck. It was a really interesting duel. He was the only person who didn't actually give up the first time he saw me. You will actually get a lot of hate for playing this deck. I don't know why but uh, apparently it's because they lose to it a lot. A lot of people lose to this deck a lot and that's why they hate it. I mean nobody likes losing and uh, people like winning a lot, but remember, winning is not everything. Technically, Duel Monsters wasn't made for winning, it was made for fun. And if you're not enjoying it, why are you playing it? So obviously I went for Acid to destroy his back row, and I'm really glad I had Form Change. So even though he targeted my Acid with his Compulse, I could return it to, to bring out Diane. The reason I went for Diane is when I destroy his 6 Samurai, I can now special summon Shadow Mist which allows me to add another Mass Change, or mass change card. And that's pretty neat, so I went for Darkla, and now he can't do anything. It's pretty awesome, Darkla is like a, such an anti-meta card. When he's on the field, it, shut da it shuts down a lot of decks, and I really, really want to face Medalchees. Ah, Medalchees. And he just drew Xian's Dojo. And I basically had the win right here. I'm glad he didn't give up. And here I was facing a Lightworm deck. It was really interesting, so I actually tried to go for Dark Law as fast as I can, but at the beginning I didn't really know that I was facing a... <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, a Lightworm deck. Technically it's the the Dragon Ruler's Lightworm, and it's a really crazy deck. Obviously, we have Wild Heart in this deck because we can use Mass Change to bring out Dayan, and Dayan's effect is pretty awesome. So here I was, I was just playing it like easy. I didn't want to like um, go for something huge. Yeah, I made a misp misplay right there. Like here I was playing it really cool, I'm like okay, he did that, I, I wasn't really like, I didn't need to bring out something huge, I was just okay, just, but I did go for Excalibur, just because I wanted to get Sh Shadow Mist's effect, and then I activated <laughs> Miracle Fusion, but he gave up at this point because he knew what was coming. And here I was facing Mermails, and uh, when I knew I was facing Mermails, the first thought in my mind was, I gotta bring out Dark Law because they really rely on the graveyard to work. And I'm like, Dark Law, come on. But I was really upset that he actually hit my Call of the Haunted because I wanted to special summon Shadow Mist with my Call of the Haunted and then add a mass change card and then go for Dark Law. The faster I bring out Dark Law, the better it is for me. The more advantage I'll gain. <coughs> Excuse me. He had a pretty decent hand. Hmm. So obviously he went for Megalo. And then I brought back Shadow Mist and got my Mass Change card. But when I activated it, I actually put my Dark Claw in defense because I thought this was actually a Mirror Force. And I didn't want my Dark Claw to be destroyed because I had a way to protect him. And obviously I'll attack here, I'll attack again, and obviously he'll activate Abyss Sphere. But he forgot that Dark Law is on the field and there's no use. And that's pretty much it.
So guys, here's the deck profile. Uh, obviously you will get a lot of hate for playing this deck, people gonna call you stuff, but don't listen to them, just play any deck that you like and never listen to what people say about you. Because the deck is actually quite fun, and especially when you destroy meta decks with it, it's so much fun. And here's the extra deck. And these are some recommendations that you might want to add, but I don't really recommend adding uh, Contrast Hero Chaos and also Elemental Hero Core. These goods, these cards are good like in later on games, uh, or maybe like at the middle of the game or al almost at the end. And also, you can actually swap Call of the Haunted with uh, A Hero Lives. If you, if you don't like Call of the Haunted, you want to immediately go for Shadow Mist and then gain Shadow Mist's effect. Also, you can replace Mass Change Second with Soul Charge. Soul Charge didn't really work for me that good because most of the times I really needed to attack and Soul Charge stops me from attacking, so it wasn't really that good, but you can replace it if you want. You can improve this deck any way you like. Um, just If you improved it in any way and it really worked for you, just tell me in the comments below, I would like to know. So guys, tell me if you have suggestions for future deck profiles or future decks, uh, I'll happily make them. And also, um, thanks all for watching, Extra Awesome, signing out, and I'll see you in the next video.